A quiet cemetery lies on top of Church House Hollow, now known as Forest Hill. But at one time in its history, it was not so quiet. Like the name of the holler, the cemetery also has two names. One is the Potter Cemetery, and the other is Murdered Man Cemetery. There are possibly 25 people buried in plots in this spot that have been murdered or have died in mysterious circumstances. This is how the area got its common name. However, the most famous of these plots belonged to the five members of the Dooms Mullins party. After the events of May 14, 1892, the Killing Rock Massacre took place. Five people were laid to rest in this quiet place. On August 22, 1892, someone used dynamite to destroy the graves of these five people who were laid to rest there. Traveling from Jenkins, Kentucky on Route 805 towards Burdine, Kentucky, turn right after you pass an old dairy bar and car wash onto Forest Hill. You will top Forest Hill and see some very nice houses up there. Look for the chain link fence with a gravel road beside of it. There is nowhere to turn a car around, so it is best to walk from the main road back. As you walk the road behind the fence, go up the hill and through another fence and you will find the cemetery. Walk a short distance past the grave shelters and you will see five gravestones there for Ira Mullins, Wilson Mullins, Lorenza Mullins, Greenberry Harris, and John Chappelle. As you look in front of the gravestones you will also find Jane Mullins, who on her tombstone is named Jane Belcher, and the wrong death date on the tombstone placing her date of death three months before the Killing Rock event. A short distance from Jane Mullins Belcher is the grave of Elizabeth Potter Belcher, who also died under mysterious circumstances. Both women were married to Isaac Belcher, and their gravestones have a very interesting epitaph attached to them. Jane Mullins Belcher's epitaph reads, quote, Faithful with her trust unto death, unquote. Elizabeth Potter Belcher's epitaph reads, quote, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord, unquote. For more information on Jane and who she was and the story of Elizabeth, be sure to read our article, Jane and Her Identity, The Untold Story, Part 1. Thank you for continuing to support Kentucky Tennessee Living as we bring to you the history of the Appalachian Mountains. Please like, subscribe, and share below. Also hit the bell for notifications of future videos. And once again, be sure to leave us a hey y'all in the comment section below.